Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show how to integrate sine x times sine 2x times sine 3x. For this integration, we're going to use angle sum difference identities. I'm not going to show how to derive it for now, but I'll show how it can be used for complex integration. According to angle sum identity, sine 2a times sine b is equal to negative cosine a plus b plus cosine a minus b. If we divide by 2, we obtain sine a times sine b is equal to 1 half times. And we can switch the order here because addition is commutative. We write cosine a minus b on the first order minus cosine of a plus b on the second order. Now we can use this. Let's rearrange our integrand by grouping first two here. So our integral is sine x times sine 2x and we have sine 3x outside of the group dx. Now here we can apply the sum identity. Let a be equal to x and b equal to 2x. So our integral turns into 1 half times cosine of a minus b, which is x minus 2x, minus cosine of a plus b, which is x plus 2x. And we have sine of 3x outside of the parentheses. Now let's simplify the angles here and here. And we can pull 1 half in front of the integral sign. So it will be 1 half times cosine of x minus 2x is negative x minus cosine of x plus 2x is 3x and we have sine of 3x outside. Now what we're going to do is to distribute sine of 3x into parentheses. 1 half times integral of we also know that cosine of negative angle is equal to cosine of positive angle by the identity. So we can switch this to cosine x as well. So cosine x times sine 3x and we have minus cosine 3x sine 3x dx. Now we can split this into two integrals. We have one half integral of cosine x sine 3x minus integral of cosine 3x sine 3x and we have both the x. Here we are going to utilize another angle sum identity which is 2 sine a times cosine b is equal to sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. We can work on how we are deriving this on another video. Now for the integral on the left we can apply this identity letting a b 3x and b x. On the left here we can apply the same identity or we can also apply substitution because we have exactly the same angle. For now, let's use this identity for both. And here our a and b value is the same, 3x. So our integrand turns into 1 half times. For this integral, we have 1 half times. If we rearrange this, divide both sides by 2, you get 1 half times sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. So this will be 1 half times sine a plus b which is x plus 3x and we have plus in between sine 3x minus x because we said a is 3x, b is x and we have minus integral of 
for the second integral here we have again one half times sine of a plus b which is 3x plus 3x plus sine of a minus b which is 3x minus 3x dx and dx now let's simplify the angles before that we have common one half and one half that we can factor out in front of the integral sign and if we multiply it by one half it will be one fourth one fourth integral of sine of x plus 3x is 4x plus 3x minus x is 2x minus now we can put together sine 3x plus 3x is sine of 6x this is gonna be sine of 0 and sine of 0 is 0 so now we ended up with one fourth of sine of 4x plus sine of 2x minus sine of 6x now we know how to integrate sine function if we have sine of ax plus b dx that's gonna be equal to negative cosine of same angle which is ax plus b divided by derivative of the angle which is a so now we can apply it to here we have one fourth in front of all integrants integral of sine of 4x is negative cosine of same angle divided by the derivative of the angle plus integral of sine of 2x is negative cosine of same angle divided by the derivative of the angle minus integral of sine of 6x is negative cosine of 6x divided by the derivative of the angle which is 6 now we can simplify negative times negative is positive and all other terms are negative so we can write in this order one fourth cosine of 6x divided by 6 minus cosine of 4x divided by 4 minus cosine of 2x divided by 2 plus c this is our final answer you can leave it in this compact form or if you wish you can multiply each term by one fourth and leave it like that thank you for watching